Okay, so brand new setup guide for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to install Recall Box on PC. So Recall Box is a front end system and unlike Retrobat, you're going to need to install this software onto a USB drive or a SD card. Let's get you up and running with this. So first of all, link's going to be in my description for this as always. And before I start this, just make sure to hit notifications that helps my channel a lot so let's take a look at the website so this is recall box and what we're going to do here is just go to download the latest version of this if we go to pc and we're going to want to download the image for pc here which is named as Polestar pc next up we're going to need to download the image for pc so if we just go here and download recall box this should take a few minutes and whilst that's downloading, we're going to download and install Raspberry Pi Imager, which is going to burn this image we're downloading onto our USB. So let's go to Windows for this and download Imager. Now, while this is downloading, what we're going to do is just make sure the USB device, what we're going to install Recall Box to, is formatted into XFAT. And remember that it needs to be formatted into XFAT. So uh, D just here, this is my external drive I'm going to be installing to. So I'm going to highlight this and just right click on it. And if I go to format, under file system, we're going to go to XFAT. If we select this and just press start and OK and format complete. So USB drive is now format to XFAT. And we're pretty much good to go. So let's just get this Raspberry Pi Imager installed, which is going to burn the recall box image onto USB. So install and run Raspberry Pi Manager, finish. So this is the actual interface for the Raspberry Pi Manager. So uh, for this installation, we're going to go to Operating System, choose OS. And if we go to the bottom here, we go into select Use Custom. And from here, I've got two of these recall boxes. Uh, one of them I was just testing out for this setup guide. I'm going to just double left click on Recall Box. And as you can see, this is now selected as Recall Box. And under storage, I'm going to mount my D drive, which I've just formatted to XFAT. So left click on that and then just simply go to right and yes. So once that's burnt, you're pretty much good to go. OK, so the next part of this video, we're going to go into BIOS on your computer and we're going to set this up. Okay, next part of this is very simple. I'm using Asus VivaBook to enter BIOS. So in my case, for my laptop, I'm going to be pressing F2 to enter BIOS and power button simultaneously and just wait for this to boot up. Now, your BIOS menu might be accessed through a different key. Uh, generally, it's the F12 keys, but in my case, there's a special procedure to get into BIOS. So once we're in BIOS, we need to change the boot priority. So in my case, on my BIOS menu, my USB drive I've just installed Recall Box to is this one just here. It says Partition 1. So I'm going to just left click on this and drag it to the top, as you can see. Now, there's something else we're going to need to do. Sometimes if you boot up front ends like this, we're going to need to change security. So in my case, I'm going to just press F7 to go into advanced mode. And once we're in advanced mode, I'm going to go to security. And from security, I'm going to go to secure boot. Now, under secure boot control, it's currently enabled. So I'm going to change this to disabled. And that's it. And then obviously, we're going to need to save this by pressing F10 in my case. So it will be the same procedure for you, but your BIOS menu might look a little bit different to mine. So, OK. So this then is now going to boot straight up into Recall Box. And we're going to see a quick menu pop up. And we're going to have to be very quick to select the correct option here, which is Verbose Re Recall Box. And this then is going to boot us straight into Recall Box. Now, on your first attempt, this might take a little while, and we're going to see a lot of Linux text uh, Recall Box. It's after all Linux distribution.
And this is it, we're now into recall box. Okay, so I just plugged in my PlayStation 3 controller and it's working just fine. So if I press start, it's gonna bring up the main menu. So let's just go to controller settings to begin with because sometimes when we just plug in a controller to these front end systems, not all the buttons function correctly. So if I just access main menu, controller settings, and I'm gonna select the first option, configure a controller. So I'm gonna press X on my PlayStation 3 controller and OK on this. And it's asking us to hold down a button. So that's any button on your controller, just hold it down and it's gonna detect it. So this is your actual input configuration menu for your controller. So just do as it says, it's asking us to press up. So on my controller, I'm gonna just press up on my D-pad as it asks, down on my D-pad, left D-pad, right. Now joystick one up. So for this, I'm gonna be using my right analog stick, up, left, joystick two, I'm gonna press up, left, A is gonna be on my circle, B, X, X is going to be triangle, Y is going to be square, start is going to be start obviously, select L1, R1, L2. Now the L3 and R3 buttons as you can see, they're going to be on our analog stick, so this is going to be by pressing down, so press down L3 and R3. Now hotkey, the last option is how we exit our game. So for this, I'm gonna just use a key which I've not yet configured to use. And there we go. And that's it, we've now got a controller totally configured to use with Recall Box. So some other things we're gonna to need to do is let's just actually make sure if we're up to date with Recall Box. So if I go down to network settings and just make sure I'm actually connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna enable Wi-Fi and this is going to connect us. And then obviously you just need to enter your Wi-Fi password. So if you need to enter your password for this part, if you just press up or down on your D-pad, it's going to change into lowercase, uppercase and obviously digits. So just enter your password for this part. Okay, so once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, let's update. So if we scroll up to updates and main menu and access this one, available update. So once you're connected to Wi-Fi and you just check out if you've got updates available by going to updates, let's take a look at what Recall Box has to offer. So it's got some games with this installation already installed. So Apple II, we've got a few games in here, which look pretty cool. Uh, Apple II GS, again, we've got a couple of games, which comes with the package. And Atari 2600, which is uh, featuring a new version of Halo. So I'm sure that's very interesting. We've got Atari 5200 here, Atari 7800. And like I say, all these systems come with free games already installed. So some very cool Commodore 64 games here. I highly recommend the Trans Sector game. ColecoVision, Game Gear. So like I said, I've actually installed no games on this, but it actually comes with games already installed. And you know, the good thing with Recall Box is it's absolutely free. So you can get retro gaming after you boot this up through BIOS, literally. So we've mainly got all the 8-bit, 16-bit, and there's even some 32-bit and up to 128-bit systems. There is a lot here, and it's well worth taking a look at. So let's boot up a game. Let's try Commodore 64 game, being a Commodore 64 fan. So I'm going to open up Transceptor Ultima, and I'm going to just use my X button for this. So as we can see, the bezels on the sides are very different to RetroBat, which is the uh, front end I generally cover. And here we go, very cool stuff.
So let's exit out of this. And like I was saying just a minute ago, when we was configuring the controller, I told you about a hotkey. So I'm going to press hotkey on this. And if you come to RetroArch menu, which you can see right now, I'm going to back out of this and simply just scroll down to quit RetroArch. This will take us back into Recall Box. Let's check out another system. What's MAME got to offer? So MAME is obviously Arcade. Let's check out one of the free games MAME comes with. The Adventures of Robbie Rotto. No idea what this game is. Uh, I think it's likely a homebrew game. And there we go. Not everyone's cup of tea this type of game, but there you go. And again, just exit out of this by pressing your hotkey. And if we do happen to go to RetroArch, just press circle to back out and go to the main menu and then just scroll down to quit menu. So that's it for a basic recall box installation setup. So let's just exit out of here. And what I'm gonna do next is show you how to shut this down and get you back up and running with Windows. So if we just shut down system, shut down. Now I'm gonna take out my USB stick for this because we no longer need it. We're going to go back into Windows for this. So let's just boot up again. Now, if you should see a screen like this, it's no problem. Don't worry about it, it's fine. So what we're gonna do from here is just turn off the computer again. I'm pressing power just to power off completely. And we're gonna go back into BIOS mode. So again, I'm gonna press F2 on my keyboard and press on power. And we're gonna have to go back into BIOS and reconfigure some settings that we ordered just a minute ago to get into recall box. So under my boot priority now, we don't have recall box because we just removed it. So what you need to do is go into advanced mode and if we go under security, once again, if we go to secure boot, secure boot control is currently disabled and that's the problem. Windows won't let you back in. So we need to enable this once again and save by pressing F10 in my case and OK. And this, in theory, should now take you back into Windows rather than giving you some screen you don't understand. So here we go. And boom, we are back into Windows once again. So that's it for my Recall Box setup guide. Like I say, it's a very basic setup guide. But I thought, let's do something different. It's a nice day today. Let's do something different for a change. So when we, if this video was popular, what I'm intending on doing is uploading some more setup guides for Recall Box, showing you how to add your own games. So if you want those setup guides done, just drop a comment and I'll get onto it for you. But until next time, stay retro.